with thin hair. I started getting to the point where I was just uncomfortable. Reached out to you guys, and ever since I got a hold of you, it's gotten really bad. I don't feel safe. I want it gone. I want my house back. I just, I can't take it. Causing so much anger that it's gonna cost me my marriage. If it's physically hurting me, I'm worried it's gonna do it to the kids. That's my fear. She scared me to the point where I didn't move until I fell asleep. And it's been scaring me where I don't want to be in this house. Hello? You're a child. Stop. Are you attached to this mirror? much about this place besides it was built in 79. We're just so busy with the farm and stuff like that, we don't really have time. It was about a year and a half ago, my youngest son started having some experiences. I wasn't much of a believer. I'd say about seven or eight months ago is when I first finally saw what looked like a, just a black figure. Like there's no, no face structure, it's just like black and it's tall. I mean, taller than like the doorways. And then times I'd come out here, if I'd see it, I'd walk out here and you'd have a real awful smell. Like as if rotten eggs make you sick to your stomach. You, you just want to gag. And then there'd be times where if you're walking through the house, you can feel as if something walked in front of you. And then I started getting to the point where I was just uncomfortable. I've walked in to the bathroom as if I'm just walking in there to brush my teeth or do something like that, you know, leave the door open. And it has actually halfway closed the door reached out to you guys and ever since I got a hold of you it's gotten really bad. Or Monday morning I woke up in some pain about 4 30 in the morning out of a dead sleep. My back was on fire couldn't understand why. There was multiple scratches that went from my shoulder down to the middle of my back. Now if I'm back in the bedroom it's constantly behind me. I can't sleep. I want to cry. Uh. I can't sleep. I don't feel safe in my own home. It's gotten to the point to where, like, I'm angry all the time. Like, as if I'm just mad at my kids and my wife, and they, they don't have to do anything. I've gotten to the point where I've had to take some of my firearms out of my home because I'm afraid. It depresses me a lot. It makes me angry. If if I try to ignore it, it's like as if somebody grabs my intestines and just twists them. Like I get real bad stomach pain. In the last couple of weeks, I've started getting a lot of pressure in my head, where it feels like a real bad mic, like a real bad headache. As soon as I walk outside, it's gone. I feel like I'm watched all the time. Like I can't walk through my home. Now it got to the point that it, you know, scratched my back. I just, I don't feel safe. I want it gone. I want my house back. I just, I can't take it. The closet back there, I can't even really open it up, get clothes out. And then the mirror at the end of the hallway. I constantly feel like I'm being looked at. I've looked in that mirror multiple times and nothing. I constantly feel like I'm being watched through that mirror. I see that tall black figure all the time. It's like a real quick, walk in front of you. The door's been open back here. The wife and I have been watching TV. We both at the same time have seen it walk across the doorway. The other day, my son asked my wife if I was up on the roof putting lights up. And she told him no. She said, why? And he said, somebody's up on the roof. And I've heard it walking around. I don't know how, but you can hear it. Constant taps on the walls, the doors. Uh, you'll hear cabinets creaking. I was looking at her and I caught it at the corner of my eye. But the picture, as if somebody grabbed it from the bottom and just flew it. And it ended up down at the closet door. It's constant, like the cold chills, you get the goosebumps. The later the day goes is the worse it gets. So it seems like the back part of the house is where you feel the most negative. Oh, for sure. 
as soon as I get past that bathroom, it's, it's a totally different feeling. The guy that was here before us wasn't here very long. Nobody really understands why. But the guy before him, I guess he was kind of like involved with a, like a witchcraft. The neighbor I spoke with her, and he was constantly arguing with her old man. I've had people tell us that they came by here thinking we were home and that there was somebody standing in my son's room in the window or in my daughter's room and we ain't home. So neighbors see stuff. Mm -hmm. I've even got cameras now through the house trying to catch it. And we can't catch anything. We don't understand. It was mainly at first, like I said, you know, after my youngest son and we don't understand why it's now after me. Our oldest son has told us that he has seen it follow him into the bathroom. The daughters have seen it here and there to the point now where they both sleep on the same bed because they take a blanket and make a wall to where as if they can't see out, hoping that it can't see into them. And when you tried talking to this thing, did you get any responses? Um, the first time we'd done it, it was telling me that it was family. It was asking me if it was alive, and then I shut it off. Well, about a week or two later, I turned it on again, and all I got was man with tattoos. And I'm covered in tattoos. And I got freaked out, and I went through the whole entire house, turned every light on, and I deleted that app because it scared me that bad. The youngest son has heard voices. I have felt taps on my shoulder. If it's physically hurting me, I'm worried it's gonna do it to the kids. That's my fear. Causing so much anger that it's gonna cost me my marriage. I don't have dreams, uh, but here recently I do. And they're not pleasant. I've had them where I put myself, I put my family, and that's why I've got guns out of here. Like as if it's trying to manipulate us to do what it wants us to. And I catch myself crying all the time. I don't know why, I just start crying. I want to distance myself when I'm here. I stay back in the bedroom. And that's how it was at the beginning. And now when I go back here, I, I just, I don't feel safe. I felt something grab my shoulder. I felt the fingertips go into my shoulder. And I thought it was my wife trying to get my attention. And I rolled over and she was sleeping. And I sat on the edge of the bed and I took a drink of my water. And I, I heard my grandmother's voice clear as day telling me that everything was gonna be all right and that she loved me. I got a call from my mom telling me my grandma passed away. And there's nothing you can do. I mean, what, what, what can you do? You can't tell it to get out. It's not gonna just get out. Hmm. And that's the worst part of it. You know, I just want it gone. I just want my family. You know, we want our house back. Here recently, when I'm back in that bedroom trying to sleep, as soon as I turn the lights off, this is when I feel like it's, it's something's right by me, like right beside me. It started a while back where we were watching a movie and I had to go use the bathroom and, and I looked up, it was a tall black male figure, taller than the shower curtains. I ran back to where my parents were and it freaked me out and they didn't believe me. Two nights ago, I was laying down and talking about this scares me where I, I don't want to move. And when I do, I feel like something's gonna like reach out and grab me. It just scared me to the point where I didn't move until I fell asleep. And it's been scaring me where I don't wanna be in this house. Cause when I have people coming over, they say they see it. And it's, I try to like to make them think that it's not, so they don't feel like unsafe here. So your friends that actually come here have experiences. Yeah. It's been making me uh, think badly and making me just not feel right. I could be just playing video games and all of a sudden I'll be like thinking wanting to hurt somebody and I know I'm not that person because mm -hmm. I'm the person to reach out be anybody's friend. The bathroom I started like hearing knocking and that scared me but or making me do something, or it's going to do something to me. It's been making me feel more scared of it, where I don't want to be in that room because... You know, I've been where you are as a kid. 
probably a little bit younger than you when we started having our experience. And three of us, we were having all this crazy stuff happen. Our parents didn't believe us until things started happening that they could no longer deny what was going on. I'll tell you, things will get better. I know it's scary to experience this stuff, especially in your own home. That's why we're here to get you guys some answers and get you some help. And Now that you guys got here, it's like not as bad. I think that once we leave, something's probably going to follow us. Okay, take this off here real quick here. We might get up again. I literally just went from being real hot cold. to now I'm cold. Yeah, I just fucked up. It's like real cold right here. I could see the whole hallway. And as I was talking to her, this picture of our oldest son, it literally looked like somebody had grabbed it from the bottom and they threw it and it ended up all the way over in the corner. When it threw it, it hit the ceiling. It just, it kept doing this number here, but it was fast. And I mean, you see there, it just stopped. But this thing here kept swinging until she got down here and we put our hand on it and stopped it ourselves and it stopped. So it's as if somebody was standing here and rocking it back and forth, back and forth. That was the most we've had here in the last couple days. Besides this mirror, I, I hate it. I don't know why. I try to cover it if I can, try to not look at it if I don't have to. Always feel like something's over here. This closet is the one that we, any of us dread going into uh, and that's where we have our clothes hamper but a lot of times when you go in it i mean it's cold there there's a big like temperature change from in there than there is out here to the point to where when you go in there you got goosebumps it's cold and then this is the spot where i was sleeping and my wife was up against me and it was 4 four thirty in the morning and i felt this real bad pain i'm getting a headache sitting here talking so I reached over and turned the light on and uh, she was telling me that there were scratches that went from somewhere on my shoulder to the middle of my back and it felt like as if somebody took a whip and hit me. It was all welded. It, it shakes. That's what happens. Saying it happens all the time. And we've noticed the more when we talk about it, it doesn't like it. It'll start acting out knocking shaking things i can't even sleep in my own room that i sleep on the couch because i'm terrified of this thing and to be back here but it definitely does not like us in this room what's on is there anything on the other side of that wall or nope so the garage is on the other side the garage is on the other side so it's all grass out here uh there's about 15 or 20 foot of yard between us and the neighbor's house and that's it there's nothing over there because that was like a hard thump but on the wall freaking yep it does it all the time trying to knock stuff off and he'll hear it too uh, and then you'll hear a lot of sounds like somebody's walking up in the ceiling and like i said the, we got a crawl space you got to enter it from the garage you and i can't even get up there and walk on our knees it's that shallow it's just uncomfortable a lot of the activity seems to be focused towards the back of the house and when you get back there it's like just a heavy feeling back there so we've got this house covered with alarms, cameras, and then this mirror like creeps everybody out. So I've got a camera in the kitchen facing the mirror. So I think what we should do is go back to the bedroom. We'll run an EVP session with the uh, cassette tape and just see if we get anything. Case file. To ensure nothing follows the family, we have set camera equipment with them. If the family has any strange experiences, they will contact us immediately. Yeah, to me, like this bedroom back here is definitely freaking creepy. We've got the cassette tape. We're going to try to run an EVP session back here and just see if we get anything. Whoever or whatever is inside this house, my name is Josh. This is Rocky and Sean. We've got a lot of equipment inside this house to communicate with you. We've got alarms in almost every bedroom. I've got a device right down here that you can talk to us. Can you come forward and talk to us, please? Are you trying to communicate with Larry and his son? Who 
whoever's in this house trying to communicate with Larry, we want you to come forward and talk to us. Who hit this wall earlier? The good thing as far as investigating is this house has a history of being haunted. The last guy that was here stayed briefly and left the house. And the neighbors have actually been outside and seen shadows in the kids' bedrooms, windows, and thought somebody was home and there was nobody here at all. So I mean, with the history of the activity, neighbors seeing stuff, I mean, there's a lot to go with here. inside this house to communicate with you. We've got alarms in almost every bedroom. I've got a device right down here where you can talk to us. Whoa, something just said something in my ear. Hold on, let's stop right here. Hello? Could you tell where it came from? Yeah, it was out here. Something like whispered something right in my ear, and then that loud bang happened. Dude, that bang was so freaking loud. It sounded like the bang was right here in the hallway. Can you hit that again for us? What the hell is that? Where are you at right now? Dude, it's like every freaking thing's making noises now. Are we upsetting you? When you affect this family and you try hurting this family, you upset a lot of people. If you're mad that we're here, hit something really hard. It's back here. Like on demand. Now this bedroom, when I was back here earlier getting the tripod, it literally sounded like something sat down on top of this bunk bed. We're gonna make you leave tonight. Why are you trying to communicate with this family? You hearing that? It's like knocking. Where are you at right now? Sound like that was walking. loud. It sounded like something was walking. Yeah, I don't like being out in this hallway like this. Because, I mean, there, that was, where it was right out here by the kitchen. Earlier you hit that wall crazy hard. Almost knocked the stuff off the wall. Yeah, I don't know that we've ever been in a house where, like, the, it's not like light banging. It's like something literally takes off running and just slams against the wall. I want to get back in that bedroom. The noise that's standing out here in this hallway while you guys are in there is freaking loud. Well, you stay right there in the hallway, Sean. Rocky and I will come back here. And I was thinking the garage maybe was over here. Yeah. But the garage is on the complete other side of the house. There's literally nothing on this side of the house. Yeah, it's over by the kitchen. It did sound like one of you guys would have taken a running start and just slammed your body against the wall. It was that loud. And this closet. Did you just feel like the coldness? What the hell was that? I don't know. It was like loud. Growling? That yeah, was a loud bang, too. Yeah, that was like a rumble. Yeah, as soon like as I opened the, like running. As soon as I opened this closet, you had that rumble. Are you attached to something inside this closet? I want to play this again and just see if we've got anything, because then I want to just let it record while we're... Can you come forward and talk to us, please? Okay, with Larry. Oh, yeah, I heard that. Man. That was right out here. We want you to come oh. forward and talk. Yeah, 
behind that. That was right out here. Whoa. No. That was right out here. Hey, I heard you out here. That alarm. Are you setting the alarm off finally? If you're back there behind Josh, set one of the alarms off. Did you do something to Larry when he was in bed? It is crazy though how big of a difference it does feel from being out here to back there. You know what we should do is we'll all um, take a camera and just sit in the bedroom because I want to see where this freaking banging's coming from. Obviously, what we heard earlier was the bedroom, yeah. but it's like whatever's banging right now is like going from room to room. But we'll just do it for a few minutes. That way, if you hear the banging in that room, then we'll know what room it's in. Take this one, I'll grab. Okay, so right now we're gonna take, each of us take a bedroom, and we're gonna sit there and try to figure out where in the hell this banging's coming from. Sean is gonna be in the daughter's bedroom. Rocky, you wanna take the master bedroom, and then I'll take the kid's bedroom here. Yeah. We're all spread out now. We're here to help Larry and his family. We're not here to play games with you. If you have a message, the f was that? I'm telling you the power that this thing has to have to hit something that hard, it's got to have a shit ton of energy. Boy, it's heard scratching out here in the hallway, Josh. Since you like knocking on stuff, if you want to answer yes, hit something once. If you want to answer no, hit something twice. <gasps> Ooh, that was slow. I it's right behind me. One knock. Are you in the bedroom with Rocky right now? Did you just hear that voice? No, not in here. No way. It's in here. Can you hit something in that closet, the room that Rocky's in? Did you hear that, Josh? What was it? It's like something sighed. I feel like whatever's in here is in the bedroom with you right now, Rocky. Sound like it sighed or like a cough or something like that. I heard that. Dude, it sounds like something's trying to something. destroy this house. It sounds like it's in the closet. You in the closet? Did you just move, Josh? Yeah, I'm, I'm out in the hallway. Oh, God, right. thank God. What is your name? Did you die inside this house? I feel like it's getting colder back here. 76.9. Is they only have baseboard heat throughout this house? Which it's off right now, so there's no like furnace or anything like that. Why are you so upset? I keep hearing something. You hit this wall earlier. Touch my leg. Holy. Yeah, that's right where I was standing too, and it grabbed the bottom of my leg right down here. And you're right by this freaking mirror. Are you attached to this mirror? Is there like music, like playing, or like a bass? I don't hear music out here. Uh -uh. Whoever just touched me, can you come in here and set off one of these alarms? It sounded like there was 
just like tapping or something off to the right of me. Was you in this house before Larry moved in here? Do something. Let me know where you're at. Hmm. Let me know that you're in here with me. Yeah, that's what's good is the only place we've had alarms go off is the master bedroom yeah. where they have the majority of their experiences. Where the hell was that at? Back towards the kitchen. Here's the black shadow that they see. Come on, come out and make yourself known. Do you want to scare the family, scare the children? Go past one of our cameras. I dare you. Are you affecting Sean? If you're in here, set that alarm off. If you're trying to affect me. Let me start that. Just keep a camera on him, Rocky, because I don't think. I got one on me too. Something's. I mean, I'm like freaking sweating. You want to step outside? I wasn't sweating earlier. I was fine. It's just starting. Yeah. I got this camera. Okay, so I'm going to sit back here in the. Uh, Parents' bedroom. I've got a camera. Okay, I'm back here by myself right now. Is that Sean? Whoever keeps knocking on stuff, affecting this family, scaring this family, I want you to come forward. If that was you, hit something harder. There's a reason why you're trying to communicate with this family. I wonder what that reason is. Are you in this closet? I wonder if I can stick this piccolo in this closet and see if it goes off. Okay, I put an alarm in that closet. Did you die inside this house? Don't knock out there, come in here. I wanna grab my phone real quick. Larry takes pictures. I just want to see if I can get anything to show up on camera. Okay, Larry is seeing you when he's taking pictures over there. I want to see you. Oh. Loud knock. Hello? Take a picture of this mirror. They said this mirror. It's creepy. That's the reports here is a tall, dark figure. Okay, I want to go over some of these pictures real quick and see. Dude, that was freaking loud. Where are you knocking at? They said that you move these pictures. Can you move one of those pictures for me? Now this bathroom right here, like everybody in the family is like scared of this bathroom. I'll sit in here for a minute and just see. 
Okay, I've got an alarm in here. Which is pretty creepy if you hang out in the bathroom. I've got a bowl up there on the counter. If you walk over and touch it, that'll light up. And this alarm right next to me will beep. Do you affect people inside this house? Do the same thing. Jesus. How about give me a heart attack? Rocky, are you outside that door? Dude, something's banging on that door. Did you just hit that door? You knew we were coming. We're gonna make you leave this house tonight. I don't care if you lived here. Now they have had the shower curtain that moved behind me. Kind of don't want the shower curtain to move, but for the sake of documenting evidence and helping this family. Were you affecting Sean? I've had that cassette tape player back there um, recording audio. So we'll have to review that and see if we get any EVPs. You do get like a super heavy feeling in here. All we need you to do is just come forward and tell us why you're messing with this family. We're here to be the strength for this family. Who is the dark shadow that people have seen inside this house? You're a coward, you hide. And they're getting to the point where they're now getting poltergeist activity. Why are you affecting Larry? Something outside that door. If you're on the other side of this door, knock on it. Hello? Can you hit that again? Why are you inside this house? Hey, Rocky? Rocky? Is somebody in here with me? Did they both go out? Okay, so I thought Rocky stayed back in this bedroom. And Sean went out because he was sick. Okay, I had no clue I was in this house by myself. You see us. You see us. Where are you at? I want to know what your name is. What is your name? My name is Josh. What is your name? We're going to do a full cleansing of this house. We're going to bring holy water in here. We're going to use scripture. And we're going to make you leave. I'm telling you, if you have a message, now is the time to do it. Teenager. Are you affecting the kids inside this house? Innocent. The kids are innocent. You're not. The man scares me. The man scares me. Are there multiple spirits inside this house? Or does Larry... Oh, my GoPro went dead. 
Okay, I've got to switch out some batteries real quick. This camera with me in case something happens. That's another thing, you go through batteries here like crazy. Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna send Sean in here, get these batteries switched out real quick. Hello there, Robert. Who's Robert? Did Robert live here? It just said scratch. The uh, Larry was just scratched. I just heard. It just said scratch. Sit next to the mirror. I'm gonna get ready to send Sean in here. Who is the dark shadow that everybody sees? The attic. The attic. Are you in the bathroom now? Just me. It sounds like something's crawling in the fing attic. Who is in here with you then? Whoa! Holy shit. Okay, I'm done. It starts talking to me. Alarms start going off like crazy. It said, it's not just me. And then it said, ad ache. And then this huge loud growl. It goes, I mean, it was loud. Sean, go sit in there. I just changed all the batteries out. Holy tits. I just heard the, the loudest growl right in that freaking hallway. And this thing started talking like crazy. But I was trying to change out all the batteries and stuff. So you can come in here? Yeah. I was saying about right there where you're at, just the loudest growl. And it was saying, it's not just me. And then the alarms in the bathroom started going off like crazy. I've heard that growl before. I'm trying to remember where the, the uh, poltergeist case, that growl in that bedroom by the window, Yeah. I knocked the tripod over, uh -huh. exact same growl. That's where I heard that growl. Cause I heard that growl and I immediately knew I've heard that growl before. When? What the f <laughs> Oh, what the f What was that? <laughs> oh, what the f What was that? Josh and Rocky just left the house. Josh has had some crazy activity. Now I'm sitting in here by myself. Kind of scared to ask questions after what just happened to him. And there is a freaking mirror right there. And we know I don't like mirrors. Holy fucking crap. I'm gonna turn on a device here in a few. And you're gonna be able to talk to me. Just like he was doing with Josh. I'm telling you, the feeling you get on here, just back here in this back rooms, just ain't good. What room are you in? I think it could be something right beside me. Come on, you want to pick on this family? Now you got me in here by myself, so come do something. Man, my left arm is starting to hurt. Are you in this back bedroom? Keep feeling a cold spot off to the left of me. Whoa. Okay. Maybe it's finally here. Finally coming to check me out. Are you affecting their dreams? 
trying to get them to do bad things. Nobody understands. Nobody understands what? Dull. What a crap. Judge. This thing's going freaking nuts. Ain't make much sense, but... I'm trying. I mean, I got alarms everywhere, too. Are you from here? No. Are you from here? It's a bang. It's like a loud knock. Stop. Stop what? Sound like footsteps. Make a noise in the attic if that's where you're at. Sound like fucking one of them pictures right there just moved. Right here. Are you trying to knock that picture off the wall? I don't feel good being out here. Whew. If I go outside, I'm fine. Just being out here, I don't know. Show yourself to me. I walk in these rooms and it gets harder to breathe and I just don't feel good being in here at all. But I'm going to keep pushing myself, so. Oh, are you out here? It's kind of funny how I walk out there and, uh, oh, there it is. Oh, you're in the bathroom finally, huh? I just heard a voice. There's two. There's two. Right before I said that, I heard a voice. Threat. Are you wanting to hurt me? I just don't feel like it's a good spirit in here. Holy crap, I don't feel good. My chest is really starting to hurt. That alarm stopped. Are you making me feel bad? Holy Missing. I don't like this feeling in here. Whoa, what the f was that? that? That was out here in the kitchen. You out here? Where in the heck is that voice coming from? What the heck? Are you behind me? If you're behind me, move. Holy. See, I am not moving. Dude, the, my light, like my left side, starting to like a vibration. What the hell did I just find? Don't leave me. No fucking way. Holy. I get off the freaking bed and it says, don't leave me. Crap, I'm scared of this. Okay, I'm sitting back on the bed. Sorry if I scared you. Are you still behind me? That's so freaking crazy that how that was going off like crazy. And then now nothing the music box was freaking going nuts behind me come outside why i don't want to go outside i hope nothing's happening in josh and rocky and they need me that could be bad are you guys trying to get me out of the house
was that? Was that you? No freaking way. Blue. What's blue? Because honestly, I don't feel good. I'm just kind of scaring the living shit out of me being in this room. So. Okay, I'm going to go outside. Just let Rocky come in for a minute. head in the house and see if you can't document what's going on. I got a device sitting up here on the dresser. If you walk up to it, you can light it up for a yes. So you know how it works then, right? By walking up to it. Did you scratch Larry? Yes or no? Yes? Are you trying to hurt Larry? Did you die here? Yes? Are you evil? No? Did you used to live here? Light it up green if... Thank you. Yes? Alright, so I got this device here. When I let you, you can answer me, okay? You just gotta come real close to me, and then you'll be able to talk to me through this device. Can you tell me your name? What do you want with Larry? Did you die in this house? Were you rattling something in the closet? Remember how you died? There's a female that just said Larry. Tell me your first name then. You know you're dead, right? Yes, you're dead. Do you remember how you died? Did you die in here? Did you scratch Larry? Do you not like Larry? We come in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Lord, we pray that you watch over us, protect us, and defend us during this cleansing tonight, and not allow anything that is inside this house or on this property to attach itself to us. We seal this room with the sign of the cross and the holy water. We seal this closet with the holy water. Anything inside this house, inside this room, in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, we command that you leave this house. It is Jesus who has authority over this house now. We seal this bed with the holy water. Lord, we pray that you watch over this family and keep them safe. Evil or negative inside this house affecting this family. You drive those spirits out of this house and off this property. In the name of Jesus, we command all spirits, good and evil, to leave this house we banish you in the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God. We seal this mirror with the sign of the cross. We close all entryways, doorways, and portals that may have been open inside this house. Any spells or witchcraft that was used inside this house. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, we command that you leave this house. It is Jesus Christ who has authority over this house now. We drive you away from this house, away from this family. We seal this room with the holy water. In the name of Jesus Christ, we command that you leave this house. You will no longer affect the children, communicate with the children, 
or allow the children to see you. Lord, we call on the Holy Spirit to come fill this darkness with the light of the Holy Spirit. Bring the light of Jesus Christ into this house and cast out the darkness. In the name of Jesus Christ, we command that you leave. The dark, evil spirits inside this house, you no longer hold reign over this property. We seal this entryway with the holy water. Lord, we pray that you please watch over this family. Just keep them safe as we move on to the next case, that you continue to watch over this family, watch over the children. We pray all these things in your name. Amen. Lord, we pray that you watch over this family and just keep them safe as we move on to the next case and the next family. Whatever has been affecting this family, Lord, we just pray that you give them peace from that dark energy and that whatever was inside this house has moved on and can be at peace. But whatever happened inside this house, we just pray that you can finally be at peace. As we move on, you just watch over this family and just keep them safe and let them live a happy and healthy life inside this house. And we just pray all these things in your name. Amen. And we appreciate you guys having us out. If you guys need anything, reach out. We're phone call away. And